Then little by little, he was getting temperature quite often. When he used to come, he used to lie down. The heart itself. I used to ask, what is happening, Swami? No, this beggar has got some fly flavor. The doctor is giving some dodo or something. It was happening quite often. Then I didn't know, but then he started coming. Then we found him so dull. Not the usual way in which he looks. But still he was giving darshan. One day I asked him, there was some blood here. Ah, Swami, I see some blood. Probably some, some heart needs that. that that's the blood, don't worry about it. A few days later, you see in that photograph, so much of blood, center. I asked him, between the white, see the blood? Mm. Red, red. Mm. So much of blood was there, I told him. So I mean, there's so much of blood, the heart and the feet, how does blood come here? Don't you know anything about this beggar's problem? I don't know. Nobody told you? Nobody told me. Tomorrow the doctor will come and tell you. Then the doctor came and told me, he has got uh, Casanova. Mm -hmm. Carson, Casanova. That's cancer. He did not tell me anything I told him. What should I tell you? I told the mothers. Then I told Swami, he told me like that. Even Devika didn't tell you? Well, they didn't tell me. I don't know why they didn't tell you. I said, Swami, the doctor is seeing he is only a physician. Probably something of a surgical case. So I owe a duty to pray to you, Swami, that some surgeon should come and see you. And because we all want you, please hear my prayers. If you want, we'll call a surgeon. I'll ask then Dr. Balraman who the surgeon could be. Then he asked him and then he gave the name of Dr. Rangabhasha, who is himself a devotee of Swami. He came here and said, you have got pounding pulse, now come with me. Everything went said, right? Yogi said, this beggar cannot come. Father knows how to keep this beggar's body. Father has to work through this body. Father's work is perfect. Ram Ram, that's all he said. But another Mahatma who came here, Krishna Premi Maharaj, he told me, you go on asking him at intervals, one day he will come. Then it happened. One day when I was in Madras, he said, send word. My mother-in-law was injured, I was in the hospital. And I'm, if just Sarnathra comes and takes tomorrow early morning, we'll leave for Rakapasham nursing home. I didn't know what to do. Then I told my wife, my Swami is more important to me. I'll go to the bank and withdraw some money and give it to you. That's all the money I have. Otherwise, ask my brothers to give money to you. I was not very rich at that time. I'm not poor at this time. That's all I can say. Then I came here, then I went and asked him. I had to find out Rangabhasham's convenience. I rang up, they said he's not available. He has gone for a conference. Then they said, maybe we'll do. Then I contacted him. They asked surgical or medical, or surgical. They said he's on the, he's speaking. You please send a message. The Jarnachama got a message about Yogiji. After he comes out, you please tell him to call me. But he got so annoyed that Yogi was not well and a call has come from him. He said, I'm stopping my lecture for a few minutes. I want to talk to Jarnachama. He came out and talked and said, I'm here, but I'll take him tomorrow. My full wife will make all arrangements for him. Evening, I'll come and take care of him. I'm very happy. No happier news could be given to me than this. Then I came and asked him in the night, do you want to go to the hospital? You said that I should come and take you. I come. What time shall we leave? What are time Swami said? We leave at 4 o'clock. We, we went and took him there. There was so much of infection. The doctor advised that nobody should go inside the room. Less infection catches him. But it beyond our control, certain things happen. And that was happening. I was helpless to a particular limit. Till one day, Dr. Rangabhasham called me and said, all this I don't like. It's my nursing home. What I say must be only followed. You know, if some visitor wants to see Bhagawan, I'll say, go on, Rajasar, Don't allow anybody there. 
ask them not to give any food. Swami likes cornflakes. So he said, give one, once cornflakes. But they gave a whole packet. Sugar rose up very badly. It was almost uh, collapsing stage. Dr. Rangabhaja came and shouted at people and said, from tomorrow, food will come only from my kitchen and from nowhere else from the mm -hmm. They all went then, he was very particular. He must come back for his jayati here. <clears throat> Dr. Parsifal said, once you go there, again travel will be very difficult for you. It doesn't matter, the beggar wants to be there. Then he said, all right, you are a Mahatma, we have to obey you. You go on number 23rd, you can go. <clears throat> number 23rd, we brought him here. Then Jayanti, December uh, 2000 Jayanti, he was present here. Mm -hmm. He met people, he called some people. Then after that, he almost, doctors say he was in a coma. I think he was in a Samadhi state. I won't think it is coma. Because then so many people went to some Mahatmas, they went to Sai Baba say, to ask for help. I felt it was very unnecessary. When you are Mahatma here, why should some other Mahatma help? If Yogi wanted to live, he can live it himself. He did not have to have anybody to spawn his. Then somebody went to Sringeri, <coughs> that's a Swami. That Swami said, <coughs> he is a Mahatma long, long ago. Unless he has got a Sangal, then I should live. None of us can do anything. It's so Sangal. If he wants to live, he will live on his own. If he doesn't, he wants to live with the body, and thinks his work is over, he will leave the body. We can't help. We devotees are only. For devotees, I offer my blessings. That's all he said. And then his health was becoming more and more difficult. But Rangabhashim kept one doctor here, his assistant, all the 24th hours. And every Sunday he used to come and visit. Then everything was set in order, and then suddenly, a lot of people waiting outside to see his darshan. They are not able to have that because infection all that we are afraid. The, my brother and another doctor, Nachi but told me in about half an hour, Swami will leave his body. All the instruments are showing like that. But if it comes a wonder, let us let the wonder come from Swami. I told him, we are all very crazy to touch his feet and have his darshan. So many people are waiting. Do you think it will affect if I call them inside? Doctor said it won't affect. Then I requested all the people outside to have a production of Yogi Ram mm -hmm. touch his feet and pray. Everybody was so happy. After the last devotee touched his feet, went out, he attained Samadhi. And after his Samadhi also, so many miracles are happening. A very important newspaper editor was in Spain, He's a great devotee of after his Samadhi. Then, after the tour was over, he had gone with Pradipa Patil. He wanted to go on sightseeing. He took a van from the hotel and went sightseeing. At a particular place, Cyril was so good, he forgot to come to the van. And the van fellow also did not count the number of persons, he went away. He, when he came back, he did not find the van. He asked people, Spain, Spain only, no, no language, Spain only, Spain only. He got very upset, nobody to guide him. Then he said, shouted, Yogi Ram Saratmar, which tests me even here in a foreign country, what can I do? I'm a devotee. Twenty minutes passed. A man in a white pant and white shirt came. Just like Yogi Ji asked, he said, My friend, do you want any help? In English. Then he said, I'll take you to the bus station. They, I think they call it a bus station there. And put you in the bus. They'll take you to Madrid. Four buildings away in the Yan Lines office. They will take it. That is not necessary for me. I'll go with the Pradipa Patil crew. Then he said, he go and sit in the bus. He went and sat in the bus and looked back again. The man was missing. Yogi, wherever it is, mm -hmm. he will send help. You and I know that. So many people don't know it. It's so many instances are like that. But now I think you can take it that physical body is not of importance of anybody else, even for us. We don't feel the absence of Yogi Ram Sarasmar in this ashram. If he is present in the whole cosmos, it cannot be he is not present here. And when he said, 
this beggar wanted to have us a living space after the beggar leaves the body the body is here and every day lord shiva likes abhishekam and that we are doing very well and even after is leaving the body if you put a letter and pray to him marriages happen children are born diseases are cured everything is happening even now that means ya mahatma need not necessarily be in a body with or without his body things are happen that's what is happening here and if you really want to think of a mahatma we are a mahatma like ramana maharishi sesha ji swamigal kanchi mahaswami yogi ram sarasva raghavendra shirdi sai baba they are all people they are something like avatars not mere representatives of god but god themselves is sitting down and yogi ram sarasva is not we see because he is everywhere top to bottom only you can't see from head to toe you have to see the whole cosmos which you cannot do just like standing on the sea show we see we cannot see the end of the sea that's how you can't see yogi ram sarasva fully only we can try to understand mere nama chanting give us the relief so as he said he said absolute faith can even move the mountains with faith really even if we call words not by the lips from the heart we call yogi ram sarasva this i can say it is satyam truth that help will come nobody will be disappointed i have seen that myself so many people experience it yogi ram sarasva yogi ram sarasva yogi ram sarasva that name alone has been left for the world and he has told me saying yogi ram wants as five times the potency of rama because that is father's name so if you say yogi ram sarasva equal to five times saying rama you people are not able to go on girivalam 14 kilometers if they go on a girivalam you wants people are not really able to go it's five times more potency than going around that that is yogi ram sarasva and we are all very lucky to live and see him mm. and talk with him had special diksha from him it's all extraordinarily good luck that our ancestors have given us such sort of a quality in us which made us mm. uh, come to him and once we start coming to him he starts dragging us he doesn't leave us he knows whom to drag and whom not to drag he drags us and something like uh, i didn't want to be here he put me here he dragged me he attracted me like a magnet and now i am not able to leave the magnet i told him what you can't leave me and i can't leave you but i'll complain against you i complain that's why he said you tell whatever i feel also you tell so frankly that's why you are very close jai ho ram sarasva Yeah. <laughs>